Well, let's talk more now about Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe's return to the UK and what's certain to be a warm homecoming with Ailing McPherson. She's Individuals at Risk campaign manager at Amnesty UK. She joins us from London. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here on the programme. Her passport apparently was only returned to her yesterday. Are you surprised by the quick turn of events? I mean, it's been incredibly um, fast moving 24 hours and we only had confirmation within the last hour that both Nazneen Zagar Radcliffe and Anna Shea Ashuri are on that plane back to UK. And yes, we are so happy to hear that. Yeah, what are you planning for the reunion? Well, I think the, the plans are really with their families at the moment. Uh, Am Amnesty will be celebrating along with other people, but you know we'll be continuing to campaign because there's still uh, British nationals detained in Iran. There's still other foreign nationals um, detained. And, you know, our work continues campaigning for, for their release. OK, well, I was going to ask you about the other uh, detainees who are being held uh, by the Tehran authorities. You know, how many people actually are behind bars right now? What do we know about their condition? It's very difficult to know. We do know that there are a number of UK nationals and um, European nationals as well, as well as um, citizens of other countries. We've seen a pattern of detaining foreign nationals by Iran for some time now. And we know that often they face the really difficult conditions in prison, as well as lack of access to medical and um, treatment, lack of access to lawyers, and just facing spurious and unjust charges. Now, details of the deal which was uh, reached in order to secure their release are, are still sketchy at the moment, to say uh, the, the least. But what's your message, you know, given what we've heard so far, to the government regarding those remaining, those who are remaining behind bars? Well, today has shown that release is possible and we just can't stop fighting for the okay. release of the other individuals that are, are still in Iran. I think they've got to redouble their efforts and um, yeah, not lose focus on sort of ensuring that everyone comes home.